Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchature, their outlook for October 13th, 2017. Friday the 13th will be a mostly cloudy day and uh, not expecting much in the precipitation department today, but uh, we'll have an opportunity for a stray shower, especially for our western counties out, out here towards central PA and maybe the southern periphery as well. Uh, reason for the clouds, though, high pressure is off in the Gulf of Maine, and every time you have that, nine times out of ten, you have this situation with a strong high here in the Gulf of Maine that creates an easterly flow around the the high and uh, that brings in the onshore or marine flow that's going to serve to do a couple things one is going to keep the clouds around so the clouds will be dominating the forecast once again we will also have uh, temperatures held in check for the second straight day because we have that east wind and uh, marine influence so uh, temperatures much like yesterday will be stuck in the 60s and uh, it'll be a cooler uh, feel to the air uh, much like yesterday was so we still have some showers around the outer periphery of this high and uh, you can see that right here we'll get over the name high res future simulator radar and give you an idea this is noon you see some showers out here in the mountains of central pennsylvania and that's pretty much where it hangs out all day just a threat for an isolated shower but that could pop up further eastward also but you can see the few showers later in the day popping up here this is just a low chance for a shower probably 20% further east, maybe 30% out here. So it's not an overwhelming uh, amount of rain, but just those pop-up showers that will show up on the radar. And then we get through the overnight period as that high pressure moves eastward, that, sh that threat for an isolated shower on Saturday is going to be further eastward. You can see that here. I'm up to get over to eastern Pennsylvania here as we get throughout the day. You can see some of the across the Poconos here Saturday morning. Mainly a Saturday morning deal, but Saturday's also going to be mostly cloudy, it looks like, for most areas. And uh, it might have some clearing later in the day as this high starts to pull eastward. All right, so here's a look at Saturday. Here's the, the global models picking up the shower activity early Saturday morning. Again, this is just isolated, uh, probably a 30% chance overnight Friday night into Saturday morning. But then we get the afternoon, we start to clear out a little bit. And you will see the sun. You're also going to see the winds coming in from the southwest as we have a warm front. Uh, first of all, you have an area low pressure here. Uh, warm front is going to be off to the north, so we're going to be able to clear out and bring in winds from the southwest uh, beginning on Saturday afternoon, and that's going to last right through Sunday. So Saturday's going to warm up a little bit. I don't think it's going to be the quite uh, quite as warm as Sunday, though, because you're going to have a lot more sun to deal with here on Sunday, it looks like. Uh, as far as outdoor plans and the driest day of the two would be Sunday, but yeah, so again, Saturday doesn't look too bad, maybe just in the morning. Have a few like those showers. So you get to Sunday, though. We get, we've got a little bit ahead of ourselves here. You get to Sunday, you have this cold front moving in from, from the west, and that's good. this is a look at early afternoon on Sunday. It's still just now getting into western Pennsylvania. So we are dry. We are partly cloudy. Again, warm winds from the southwest coming in here, and they're gonna have, we're going to make a run at 80 degrees at many of our uh, urban locations, and uh, especially down here by Philadelphia, probably be in the lower 80s for highs here on on Sunday, so we'll turn around. Temperatures are cooler yet today, like they were yesterday. But then Saturday it gets a little bit it gets warmer into the 70s, and then we're back making a run 80 degrees here on Sunday. But that's going to be short lived because on the other side of this cold front is cooler air that will last through much of next week. Uh, this cold front does look like it's going to hold off most of the day for most areas on Sunday. Might have a late shower uh, later in the afternoon or early evening uh, for our western counties, but I do think areas further south and east should be dry. Uh, the majority if not the entire day and that comes through overnight with a few showers as shown here not real heavy stuff just a few showers coming through on sunday night but here's a look at early monday morning so a few leftover showers early for our south and eastern areas but that's going to clear out quickly and as that front moves off the coast we're going to have improving conditions the interior is just morning clouds giving way to sun and uh, temperatures are going to be uh, not climbing too high because uh, once the cold front goes through, the winds are going to shift to the northwest and we're going to have a refreshing breeze coming in here again. We'll be stuck in the 60s, it looks like, here on Monday. And then once we get to Tuesday, high pressure sitting right over top of us. We have a couple days, uh, tiers Tuesday through Thursday, high pressure sitting right over top of us and it doesn't really move. Going all the way to Thursday now, it's still sitting over uh, just east of us. Uh, at this point almost on top of us and uh, we have uh, mostly sunny skies for tuesday to thursday but temperatures will be uh, back downward to where they should be for this time of year as far as normal fall temperatures so if you're looking for the fall temperatures and the fall feel next week does look like it's going to be uh, it's going to do that and we're going to have temperatures that are very comfortable and an autumn feel with a northwesterly breeze each day with low humidity i'm eastern pa weather authority meteorologist bobby martridge that is your outlook for october 13th 2017 have a great friday